Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well there we have one freshly installed transfer pipe. I'm going to go down and start the pump. We have run one freshly installed transfer pipe and one fresh crane feather. So that crane's having a party down here. I would, I don't know if they feed at night. I've never been able to see them early in the morning when I come down, so I would assume that they're night feeders. I went into town today and I forgot to get the nails to nail along this perimeter here so I can get the net in one thing at a time. But definitely have to get the net in the net over the top. There's just no there's no two ways about it. So I'm going to go fire up the pump and start this water exchange. Get my shoe back on. I had to get down in that pit and I didn't want to get my little sandal wet. I got the last pair wet and they just fell apart. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, I forgot how much water these pits hold. This is about hour two. Two and a half hours maybe. I didn't look at the clock when I started. The water started coming out of this second to last pit going into the last one. And so as water is changed, I'm going to let it come up to about the where the yellow uh, tarp cover is. Let the water level come up to there and then I'll bring that hose down about halfway here and put it in the middle of this pit and then just let it drain out that end into this uh, Azola pit here. As you can see that's pretty green mucky water coming out of there. So it definitely needs a little water exchange. I'm going to get those nails tomorrow. Get this done because I we fed these the fish in this pit and this one just got through feeding and I never did see any eating going on in this one so I think that bird's got them all out of this one and I think it's got quite a few out of this one because there's still a lot of feed left in here I have seen some eating going on in there I'm going to have constant cut back halfway on the feed. Because it's been about 30 minutes and there's still a lot of feed in here. So there's many fewer fish in here than what there should be. That bird's been having a good time. So I'm going to cut way back on this feed. I like to feed them to where they can clean it up in about 10 minutes. And it's been a half an hour. And I don't think any of this feed was eaten out of this pit here. Especially because the duckweed continues to spread out in there. I don't think there were any fish at all in this one. Those duckweed would be long gone. As you can see, there's still quite a few fish in this pit and they're liking that new water it's making them a lot more active and I've seen some activity in this one I don't know I'm guessing we've lost half the fish to that damn bird it never even crossed my mind never even occurred to me that we'd need to cover these pits because it had been so long since we'd had the crane problem here 
taking them out of the main pond up there. Yeah, can't think of everything, I guess. Tata and I are going to go through this pit right here, that one, tomorrow, and strain it and see if there's any fish left in it or not. And if there's not, then we'll catch another couple hundred and put them in there after I put the net on it. In fact, we probably ought to strain both those pits, that one and that one, and see what's left in them. And as you can see, training well down on that end. That's where I was standing before. I had to do a little creative piping here. The outlet for this pit is much higher than the inlet for this one. The one that I just put in. And I put this as high as I could. As you can see it's almost over top, top of the bamboo. And I had to put in... I had told... I had asked Tata to completely remove that old drain pipe. That's the old drain there. That's the old exchange from this pit to this. But he just cut it off right there and put the new tarp in. So that old drain is still there. And it just it just drains into the water. Into the, I mean, into the soil. And right about there where Bear Bear is standing. So I had to put an elbow and a cap on that. And I put an elbow in here to save the feed in the Azola. So I'm going to let this run about another five minutes. You can clearly see the difference in water clarity between this pit and this one here because of the fresh water that's been added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this hose down there into the middle and force the water this way and out so that we don't just fill this pit up, we get a little bit of water exchange as well. Because the water that's going into this pit on the right right now is just the, the dirty water coming from this pit. So in order to get some water exchange and flush this out, I've got to move this pump hose down as far as I can. Might be able to stretch it all the way to the end and then just pump it back this way. All right, I've got this moved down here. Put a little stick in there to hold it where it is. And that there, that one will continue to drain down about another inch. And as soon as the water starts to come out of this other end, I'm going to let it run about 30 minutes to flush it through. I put a, an elbow on this here so that it'll build up a water level. If I just leave it down, it'll slowly siphon off all that feed that's on the top. So I got it turned up so that when the water starts to go out of that right there, I'll flip it over so it won't suck all the feed out and it'll still let the water through. Well, it's going to be dark in about 10 minutes. I picked the pump up, opened it up. This would be draining out right now, but I've got the, the elbow turned up. So hopefully in about five minutes, I'll be able to flip that over. The pump has only got about half an inch of gas in it, so that should work out just about right. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.